this time. Let's get away with something besides our boyish good looks. Backup. Two armed and dangerous suspects fleeing south in a 70s model Buick. Brown with no rear license plate number. Also requesting an ambulance. Roger, one PP4. Even with Ellie McGuire spying for them, their plans haven't panned out. Chris and TC cut the take of their first robbery in half. The shooting made them turn tail on the second. Yeah, well, they lost a guy and everything they had on that last job. Not much to show for all that work. I know money means no drugs. And strung out, they'll be even more dangerous. And desperate. We're going to give Zane something so easy, so lucrative, he won't be able to resist. Great. I'll just tell TC and Chris. But I want to give Chris some distance from the situation. I think the three of us have it covered, huh? Sure. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You okay? Yeah. It's not my blood. Glad to see you haven't lost your sense of humor. Oh, man. I can't even eat. I can't sleep. I can't even cry. I was just about to offer you a hot meal, a pillow, and a shoulder. Wow. In here, I try to pride myself on knowing exactly what you need. <sighs> TCI. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. So how's your head case? <laughs> the unflappable officer Chris Kelly has become totally flapped. And yours? TC? Ditto. I mean, I know this is a hard case, but they're both taking it so personally. You think maybe that's because it is personal? Personal? You know. TC, Chris, personal. <laughs> oh, please. We're roommates. Friends. Women. She would have spilt it to me for sure. Besides, Chris isn't crazy enough to date somebody she works with. It's suicidal. Yeah, no kidding. How do you recover from a fight with someone that's always in your face? Yeah, well, there's definite advantages to Tim being 3,000 miles away. You ready to browse? I will be here soon. This is so unlike me. Usually when I want something expensive, I just steal it myself. Go to it. I want what I want. But we've already seen a dozen different sapphires in a dozen different stores. Not a powder blue cornflower sapphire. Now, Luther told me that you could get me anything. But if you're unable or unwilling, no, no, no. The customer's always right. Hmm. Rubies, diamonds, emeralds, more diamonds, pearls. The vertical hold. Oh, ladies, uh, I'm all alone today. I'll, I'll be right with you. We have plenty of gorgeous sapphires here. Hmm. Too dark, too small. This will put me two days offline. I'm doing the best that I can. We do the best we can. I like that one. May I be of assistance, ma'am? Yeah, I would love to see this ring. Oh, excellent choice. The cornflower. And madame, may I help you? Um, no, madame is doing just fine. Thank you. Oh, 
okay, so the store is a little beneath my usual, but it's got great inventory and non-existent security. Sounds like a no-brainer to me. It would, to someone with no brain. Yeah, and you're such a genius, blowing away Billy so we lost the whole score. You want to join him? Oof. Back down, Hank. His is bigger. Look, with this one store, you can salvage all your time here, Zane. We can make out fat. We? I'm not looking for new partners. Come on, Zane. I'm tired of busting my butt so some socialite can get herself a new pair of... I pay you 10% of every job you spot. Yeah, 10% of nothing. For this job, I want a full third. Billy's third. You want Billy's third? You pull Billy's shift. What do I do? Get a mask? Well, they'll be looking for that. They won't be looking for a chick. Yeah, and what if somebody gets a good look at me? Smile will be long gone. One more thing. You do it like Billy, you end up like Billy. Don't worry. I'll do it as good as I do everything else for you. <laughs>